Birchbox, are we really sure that we want to follow NerdBlock? Hey folks, so this is the August 2017 Birchbox Van Unboxing. Um, if you're a frequent viewer, you know of my love-hate relationship with Birchbox. Uh, you know, when they're on, they're on. But when they're when they're off, you know, usually it's it's kind of a what were you thinking moment. Um, you know, this month, you know, uh, I'm I'm okay with the item that you know I I chose. I, I wasn't that crazy about the. Um, I should probably cut away for myself. I, I wasn't that crazy about. Any of the items, but I at least chose one that had the greatest degree of utility, I guess we would say. Although that's not that, that's not saying much. However, having come hot off the nerd block situation, I gotta say I'm I'm feeling a little full of myself right now. You know this 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 whole thing where. You know, like, like the Queen of Hearts and Alice in Wonderland, you know, off with their heads, man. You can get drunk with power with that shit. And I'm, I'm not saying that Birchbox Man is on the chopping block, but, you know, after the nerd block situation, I'm kind of realizing why am I paying for stuff that A, I don't like, and B, is kind of crappy. So I'm kind of hoping that Birchbox Man gets their act together between now and, like, the end of January uh, when I'm supposed to renew for my next plan. Um, but we are going to see what is in this box. And as always, we will open with, look at this. This is kind of a shallow box. Not, not much in here this month, kids. Come on, really? So let's go ahead and see um, what we got. So we will not read the back since that has the spoiler card in it. Um, we just have the front, a method to your madness, an organized approach for your chaotic day. For once, the theme actually hits. So let's see. I'm just going to kind of grab the first thing I see here. And the first thing I see is Marlowe Men's Facial Scrub. And I'm seeing something else that has me a little concerned. I'll get to that in a second. Oh, hello. You touch it and it goes off. This is a men's box. I'm liking the scent. I'm really liking the scent. Um, let me get a feel. All right, let me drop the cap on the floor. And I'll get it after I'm done filming. Uh, so, obviously, it's a wash. It's a scrub. Uh, I'm definitely feeling... Some abrasives in there. The scent is pretty decent. Um, kind of a, a lotiony smell, not really overpoweringly lotiony, um, but not bad. Let's, uh, let's let's see what our next item is. All right, so we have Kula Sport SPF 50 Classic Sunscreen in fresh. Is that? It is fresh mango. All right, so we're getting a scented sunscreen here. Um, let's see. Oh, and it's got a stopper on it. We can take care of that. Yeah, I guess I'll put a little over on. That's all that I need. It's a sample, but I don't want to burn the whole sample. My God, there's a lot of air in here. I squeezed more than half the tube. All I got was just a little teeny bit. So I am smelling the mango. That's a good thing. And it seems to go on pretty easy. The one big thing about any kind of a sunscreen is you want to make sure that it doesn't feel greasy once it goes down. You know, when I was a, a little boy, that's the one thing I always remember when we'd, we'd go out to a pool and we'd swim and my mother would put sunscreen on us and just felt 
greasy the whole time you were swimming. You just couldn't wait to get home. You know, if we're like a little child, probably the only time I ever wanted to volunteer to take a bath was when we came back from um, when we came back from the um, from the beach, and I was covered in sunscreen and just felt really, really greasy and wanted to get it off me. You know, we're talking, um, you know, kind of the the uh, the copper tone of the late seventies if you're of that generation. But I gotta say, uh, it feels good. Um, no really kind of greasy residue. Uh, you know, it's it's there because I can smell it, and you know, like I said, the um, uh, the mango smell is good. Uh, let's see what we got next. Um, so these are a pair of Ursa Major, and again, I, I always have to get a giggle when I get anything from this company. Uh, they are four-in-one essential face wipes. Enjoy clear, healthy skin. Use this ambidextrous face wipe. It cleans, exfoli exfoliates, soothes, and hydrates anytime to reboot dull, tired, or oily skin at the office after a ride on the road. Well, I think these are going to actually come to the office with me. Um, when when I when I work, you know, usually I tend to go in the morning. I don't tend to leave until sometimes seven, eight, nine o'clock at night. Uh, sometimes, kind of really towards the end of the day, or like three or four o'clock, I just feel really greasy on the face. And I, I've had um, facial wipes in my uh, in my desk drawer before, and I'll put those in there and give it a look. And you know, again, I, I love the name. Ursa Major, Big Bear, come on, you know, how, how could they, how, how could I not love a product like that? So, this was the, um, this, this was the, the item of concern, you know, and understand, I'm, I'm coming off the burn of Nerd Block, where I, um, my, my last box basically was all recycled stuff, the box before that was all recycled stuff, and now, lo and behold, have we seen this before? Original Penguin? Premium Blend? Birchbox? Do, do we not have any other fragrance samples? I know you're like giving away grab bags of fragrance with um, with purchases. I mean, come on, I just got this like two months ago. And I even bought the full version. So, you know, I'm kind of miffed a little bit. So it's like I'm getting a dupe of a sample that I got, what, two or three months ago? And, you know, yeah, I, I wear Penguin Originals, so I will um, I, I will at least uh, put this in. So it's a spray mechanism. I'm not going to spray it and waste it, because I actually got a pretty full vial there. But, you know, come on, folks. I've already gotten this. You've already sold me the full-size sample. But like I said, if anything, the next time that I have to take a flight uh, and I'm not checking my bag, you know, I'm doing the carry-on through the TSA, this can, you know, at least something I can put in the bag so I can have some fragrance on the go because this is well under three ounces. So uh, the last thing we have is the Porter Key Knife Click Lock Blade Dual Layer Bottle Opener includes cable key ring. So... Like I said, you know, I was I was taking a look at the lifestyle items that they had, and this this was kind of that least of three evils. Uh, you know, I think once again, Birchbox had like I think it was underwear this time, either briefs or a shirt that you know obviously I I can't um, unless they start putting some X's on the underwear. I'm I'm probably never going to be able to enjoy underwear from Birchbox. Can't remember the other item. I think the other item may have been very similar, similar to something uh, that I've gotten in the past. But, you know, this, so the idea is um, it, it looks like a key. It fits on a key ring. But when you separate it, at least if I remember from the pictures, and I, I don't want to cut myself, if at all possible, maybe. So it doesn't separate like that. You know, I can see, I can see the groove, and maybe it's just because it hasn't moved. I'm going to have a moment that counteracts my intuitive male nature. I'm going to look and see if there are instructions inside this box. Let's see, foam, foam. 
foam. No instructions. Okay, well, although you know they, they do have, and again, I'm liking this um, this this cable design. I, I have no idea how to use it, but I'll. Uh, oh wait, there it goes. I bet it. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It screws in like that. Uh, all right, so. Oh, 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 wait, wait, did it give? Did it give? Oh, it's giving, it's giving. Ah, there we go, look at that. So the idea is, um, great, now that it opens up, it's loose as hell. So we've got a little bit of a, a sharp blade there. You know, if you've seen the majority of my videos, you know, you know that I usually have a little pocket knife that I use to open with. This is the same, uh, I, I would say the blade is probably, an inch, if that. Um, and we're going to be careful as we close it. But the idea is, it goes back in here. It looks like a key, and it's got a bottle opener. Uh, what do they say? Dual layer, yeah, dual layer bottle opener and cable ring. I thought there was a third function, but maybe not. But anyway, there we go. Um, Lots of little samples. Nothing's really running away with my heart. If only because one already ran away with my heart a couple months ago when I ordered the full size. But to recap, the um, the Porter Key Knife. So we put this back in its box. The Kula Sport 50 SPF Classic Sunscreen. The Penguin Premium Blend Cologne. The Ursa Major, Ursa Major Face Wipes. And the bottle of Marlowe Men's Facial Scrub, whose cap I'm about to go looking for as soon as I close this video. So there we go, folks. That is your August 2017 Birchbox Men Unboxing. Uh, at this point in time, if you would like to see more of these, Please, by all means, hit the subscribe button below. Um, on the gentleman's side, I'm currently subscribing to Birchbox, um, Spreza Box, uh, Gentleman's Box, and from whom I may have a, a special treat video coming for you all in a few weeks. Um, I'm going to kind of leave you lingering in suspense on that. So, there we go, folks. Um, if you also want to leave a comment, please, by all means, leave a comment, and I will try to respond if I can. Otherwise, beyond that, be good, be good to each other, and stay safe out there.